I was about to complete my two-year mission in orbit around Io, a satellite moon of Jupiter. Then, without warning, a large magnetic storm occurred. Suddenly, I lost all communications with Earth. It must have been in that moment. When I warped into another world. An unbelievable world, where the Earth is cubic, not spherical. The dimensions of the cube have been confirmed. The total length of the four edges of this square is approximately equal to the circumference around the equator of our Earth. The cube's volume is smaller by 7.6%, the surface area larger by 17.6%. My curiosity told me to land, investigate if a human life form exists on this world. Until I land, my only partner is my computer, Lippo. It will take 17 hours to reach the surface of the Earth. We'll be passing the moon shortly. Whoa. I can't believe what I see with my own eyes. There, the cubic Earth is floating, surrounded by six huge planes. Lippo, tell me the results of your analysis as far as you've gone. No detailed results yet, but it is apparently rotating every 24 hours as our Earth is. The distance to the Sun is the same as our Earth's distance to the Sun, and it revolves around the Sun every 365 days. For now, nothing can be said until we investigate. Lippo, where is the best place to land? The six planes may be classified into four lateral square sides and two polar sides on the top and bottom. The polar sides are extremely cold, alternating day and night, every half year, and certainly there is little possibility of life in these polar regions. Therefore, we'd better land on one of the lateral sides where day and night are repeated every 24 hours. If man exists, it should be on these sides. What an eerie sight. The ground is greenish because peridotites from under the crust have been exposed. I feel something strange. Must be the direction of gravity. It's directed toward the center as the spherical Earth. At the edge of the cube, the direction of the gravity is 45 degrees off the plane surface. That is, the ground has a huge 45 degree slope. It's a very steep slope. Be careful when you land. Right, ready to land. Watch out! Ah, oh, darn it! I blew it! The ground conditions are much worse than I thought they would be. Is the spacecraft damaged? I better get out to check it. Be careful. There's no air out there. What? Is this the Earth?
it's more like the surface of the moon. We're here. Let's investigate. Oops. Whoa. 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 Oh. No. 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 Our spacecraft won't stop. The slope is so steep. Don't worry. The gradient of the slope varies depending on where you are. The top of the slope is abruptly inclined at 45 degrees and may extend to 10,000 kilometers. But the nearer you go to the center, the less and less it inclines. At the center, the Earth becomes level, will eventually slow down and stop. Oh, 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 oh what are you doing? Help me, quick! Is there an atmosphere here? Yes. I was able to identify the atmosphere. We are now 750 kilometers away from the center of the side plane. The temperature is 20 degrees Celsius with 0.5 atmospheric pressure. On our Earth, this environment would be similar to a mountain area 3,000 meters above sea level. An atmospheric pressure of 0.5 would allow human beings to live, wouldn't it? Yes. Breathing here is no problem. But why do we have air here? Why do we have air, and no air at other places on the same cubic Earth? This fact is also controlled by the gravity. The atmosphere does not uniformly cover the cubic Earth. The effect of the gravity makes it accumulate around the center in the shape of a convex lens. The pressure also varies depending on the location. It's determined by the thickness of the varying atmosphere right above it. Therefore, the nearer you go to the center where atmospheric layer is the thickest, the higher the pressure becomes. We are now in the area with atmospheric pressure that varies between 0.5 and 1. This zone is only 42 kilometers wide, Life may possibly exist here. On such a vast Earth, man can exist only within a 42 kilometer range. Amazing. Let's search for life. Lippo, we will have to cut through that sea of clouds. Visibility is really bad. What do you see, Lippo? I see signs of life. It looks like various forms of bacteria. I recognize a primitive form of moss, though not much. Not the slightest indication of human beings at all, right? That's because there's not enough water. just received a report from our mothership orbiting the cube. They see that a large body of water has been detected on the side next to this one. An ocean does exist. Really? Then let's take the shortest route to move over to the next plane. Be careful, save fuel. These clouds. It's the first time I've seen such thick mameto cumulus. Wow. 
Wow. The change in temperature and pressure is much more than I imagined. At the center, the temperature may go up to 500 degrees or higher with atmospheric pressure of 365. Fortunately, our shielding is protecting us. <sighs> this could be like the environment of Venus. Rocket injection program is in trouble. We are landing. This is the center of the Earth. What a change. Human beings certainly won't be found here. On the cubic Earth, the makeup of the atmosphere depends on the distance from the center. This creates the environment of our Earth, as well as our Moon, Mars, Venus all combined on the same plane of this planet. Incredible. Oh my gosh. Let's hurry up. Now we are out of the atmosphere again. When we finish climbing up to the top of this slope, we'll be right on the plane with the ocean. It is definitely too early to give up. Humans must be there, living near the ocean. Now, we have climbed 5,000 kilometers. The slope is becoming steeper and steeper. Please hang in there. Very soon, we'll be passing the edge of the cube. Fantastic. There is an ocean on the cubic Earth. It's as if our Earth were also here. All the water on our Earth has accumulated on this side in a convex lens shape. Here is an atmosphere and an ocean, too. The human communities must be living here. Here goes, Lippo. 